Okay, so we're burning propane, it looks like, and we don't need a reaction for this one because they've already given us the big number that we need. They've given us a delta H, and they've already done any division that had to happen because this isn't just kilojoules, it's kilojoules per mole, so they've taken care of that for us. Our delta H, the one that we put in our formula, is 2219.9 kilojoules, and they say it's the enthalpy of combustion for propane, so we know it's per mole of propane. If they said molar enthalpy of combustion for oxygen or whatever else, then that would change what these are moles of, but they're telling us when we did our kilojoules per mole, we mean moles of propane. And this is another one where they tell us the total energy that they want us to get back, so our total energy is N delta H. The total energy is 23.4 megajoules, which I'm going to write 23,400 kilojoules. Did I have to change to kilojoules? Yes, I kind of did, because our delta H is in kilojoules. If you use a number like this, you're committing to using moles for your amount of chemical and kilojoules for your amount of energy, so if I'd stayed in megajoules, it would cause trouble later. Better to go to KJ for everything here. Uh, number of moles, don't know it, and our delta H is 2219.9. So, if we divide that, 23,400 divided by 2219.9, our number of moles is 10.5. 5, 4, 1. Um, our answer is only going to have three significant digits because of the 23.4 megajoules, so if I carry five digits here, that should be plenty. That's 10.541 moles of propane. They don't want moles of propane, though. They want the mass of propane, so we need a molar mass. Mass is the number of moles which we already have, times the molar mass for propane, C3H8, would be 3 times 12.01 plus 8.08, 44.11 grams per mole. Ten point five four one times the molar mass for propane gives I get 464.96351 grams. Because of our megajoules up here, three significant digits, we have to trim this down to 465 grams. Looks good. Next one, how much heat could be produced by the burning of 529 grams of methane? Okay, again they give us the delta H, and you can tell because it's kilojoules per mole. So that's a great number to have. 890.5 kilojoules per mole of methane. So our total energy is going to be N, uh oh, we don't have N. Quick break, we must have N. Number of moles is mass divided by molar mass. So when you're using a formula, it pretty much steers you. This formula says, get me a delta H, we have it, and get me an N. If you don't have an N, well, you got to find one. Stop immediately and go get a number of moles. If you can't find a number of moles, then this formula will not work, and you need to find another way to attack the problem. So for this, our mass of methane is 529.0 grams. Our molar mass for methane, which is CH4, is 12.01 plus 4.04 is 16.05, which means our number of moles, according to the calculator, is just a, almost 33. 32.9595. of methane. Right, so 
This formula, E equals N delta H, has been sitting here waiting for us to get our number of moles done. Now we can carry on. Number of moles, just found it, 32.9595. Delta H, given in the problem, 890.5. Zero point five gives twenty nine thousand three hundred and fifty point four, and its energy it's going to come out in kilojoules. What do we give for an answer? This this has four significant digits. The heat of combustion of methane has four significant digits. It looks like we're good for four this time. We can say. 2.935 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 kilojoules. Or we could divide by 1,000 and say 2.935 times 10 to the 1 megajoules. Or because 10 to the 1 is just 10, we could do it as 29.35 megajoules. And in this one, they give a negative sign in their solution. Because it says heat is produced, I'm not totally sure that negative is necessary. But uh, I think it is less ambiguous. If you're going to say anything, just say that heat is produced rather than absorbed. Attach that to whatever answer you give. And then we will all understand each other.